Please welcome student speaker Nadia Iftikhar, candidate, Department of Health and Behavior Studies. Dear professors, administrators, families, friends, and my fellow graduates, I'm honored to have the chance to address you today. First and foremost, I'd like to congratulate all of you on your wondrous achievement. In Urdu and Pakistani sign language, Bahad Bahad Mubarako. In Arabic, an Arabic sign, Alf Mabruk. And in American Sign Language, congratulations. When we think of virtues, we commonly think of patience, forgiveness, honesty, and generosity. Today, I'd like to remind you of an oft-forgotten virtue, the virtue of discomfort. As a community of educators, scientists, and philosophers, we know all too well that learning is a largely uncomfortable process. It is during our moments of struggle and discomfort that we can achieve the greatest personal, professional, and social growth. For this reason, I'd like to urge you to continue to venture outside of your comfort zones in all that you do. It is in this way that you will sustain continued growth and learning. In respect to our personal lives, it is only natural to desire a degree of comfort. That's the reason that we often crave home-cooked meals and the company of our loved ones and old friends. However, I think I can say that during our time here at Teachers College, most of us experienced some discomfort. Whether it was by moving to New York City for the first time, leaving behind your friends and family, taking a course about something you knew almost nothing about, or the moment that you recognized that your beliefs or views were being challenged in the classroom, you likely learned a great deal from these experiences. After I graduated from college, I traveled alone to Saudi Arabia to take a job as an English teacher at a women's university. Though I thought I would be teaching English to typically hearing students, I was asked to teach a classroom of deaf women who used Arabic sign language as their main mode of communication. This was simultaneously the most uncomfortable and wonderful experience of my life. It was during that year that I found my passion for my field of deaf education, and it was by stepping far outside of my comfort zone that I found my way to teacher's college. While many of us will not face the challenges of leaving behind the lives we know to move to a faraway land, you will likely face life challenges that will be important opportunities for growth. I urge you to question and challenge your beliefs in every facet of your lives so that they do not become stagnant. Examine multiple perspectives and the reasoning of those who may disagree with you. Also, continue to stand up for who you are and be true to yourself, even when you stand alone. In respect to our careers and further education, it is vital that we carry on the legacy of Teachers College and become the next generation of leaders and innovators. While it is necessary to refer to the wisdom of our predecessors, we must strive to pave new roads in our respective fields and look for new answers to age-old questions. We must seek out and create opportunities wherever we can and take on challenges, even if they're different than what we had planned. And as we learned here at TC, it is our duty to give back to the society in which we live and our larger global community. While we may desire the company of those that are similar to us, it is critical that we also build relationships with people who are different from us. Remember that the human condition regardless of ability, race, religion, culture, or class, is a universal one. For this reason, we should strive to find the commonalities in our identities and experiences so that our differences unite us rather than divide us. We must speak up in the face of injustice wherever it is seen, however unpopular our opinions may be. Remember that by saying nothing, you are still saying something. While it is more comfortable to envision the people of the world as easily categorized, know that the world we live in is not black and white. The people of the world exist on multiple continua and cannot be ne neatly grouped into categories. No human can be defined by a single characteristic, nor are any two people the same. 
Additionally, there is seldom only one correct answer to many of life's questions. Sometimes there's actually no correct answer, but this should never prevent us from asking and searching. My fellow graduates, I'd like to request that you carry our university's culture of inquiry, innovation, and social justice into the next chapter of your lives. Remember that discomfort, however unpleasant it may feel, is a clear indication that you are learning something. You may be surprised at how soon the uncomfortable will become comfortable and how limitless your learning can be. Assalamu alaikum, peace and blessings upon you all.